All right, we're going to tackle uh, Cry of Achilles. We're going to tackle the intro first. And um, this is probably one of the harder things to e execute on the record. Um, we did it with the nylon string. And um, let's talk first of all about the picking pattern, because I think that once you get familiar with that, that will help considerably. Um, it's kind of a hybrid. You're using the pick, and you're using your uh, index your middle finger and your ring finger. Uh, um, so we're going to start off with the uh, in the A minor and the open in the open position. Uh, so take your middle finger on the second fret on the D string, ring finger second fret on the G string, and you're going to utilize the open B string in conjunction with the first fret on the uh, on the B string. So. So with your right hand, first the first one is just, just the A string, and then the G string with your middle finger, and then pick, D string, and then middle ring finger using hitting the, the B and G string. I would just practice that at first. Get real comfortable, just get real comfortable with that. After you've gotten comfortable there, then we can start adding more of the chords. Uh, the next chord is a, it's a diminished a triad, and you're going to start on the um, sixth fret on the D string with your pinky, middle finger on the second, or I'm sorry, on the fourth fret with your uh, on the G string, and then you're going to add the uh, the uh, uh, the index finger on the third fret on the B string. <laughs> Slide up to the ninth fret with your pinky on the D string, seventh fret with your middle finger, and then index finger will alternate between the open B and the sixth fret. Okay, so now I'll play it slowly as, as, as far as when those chords should hit. Um, the other thing is when you're moving between the second two chords, try and lift your fingers up just enough so there's not a lot of squeak. That was something that we um, uh, noticed as we were tracking this. So that's, that's, that's a little bit of a challenge. Um. take the, the, the ring finger off of the G string and you're going to put it down on the third fret on your E here. It's the same pattern but, but instead of hitting the A with the pick you're going to hit the, 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 the E. Now here you're going to reverse these two. Take your ring finger, put it on the second fret on the G string middle finger on the second fret on the E here. So you're just going to, you know, take the pinky and it's going to alternate between the first fret and the third fret on the B string. Oh, sorry. The last part of it, you're just going to lift the index finger off those two ring out. All right, so let's do all those together now. Now, this next part is where we change all together, and we're going to hit low E there, and then with your middle finger, pull up on the D string. And then pick's going to come down on the second fret on the A string. So, and then you're going to slide up 
index finger on the fourth fret, then you're gonna pull up again on the D string, and then you're gonna you're gonna come down with the pick on the A string on the fifth fret, so and then go up a minor third again. So then you're gonna have index finger on the seventh fret on the E here, middle finger on the eighth fret on the A, and then go up another minor third, you're just doing it's just a diminished thing, and start 10th fret here, and then once again open D, and then uh, 11th fret on the A string. So. Okay, and then we're gonna we're gonna uh, do the descending run uh, to close this intro off, and we start by raking into the first fret on the high E string here. So we come first fret, open, fourth fret on the B string, then first fret on the B string, then open. second part of it, open, then fourth fret, first fret, open, fourth fret on the G string, then second fret on the G string, first fret on the G string. It's kind of a harmonic minor thing, mixed in with a little bit of a, we add the tritone there, if we can get all crazy technical. Second part with a, with a little hammer on pull off. All right, so we're hammering on to the uh, Second fret from the first fret on the G string, and then third fret on the D string. All right, so the whole thing now. Okay. So in open D, second fret on the D string, third fret with ring finger on the D string, and then open G. And then that's pretty much the end. Now I'm going to play the whole thing in time. Mm -hmm. 